today we are going to study about the blood supply of the brain and spinal cord basically we all know that the brain is supplied by the two common carotid arteries and two vertebral arteries anterior portion of the brain is supplied by the common carotid artery and posterior portion of the brain is supplied by the vertebral artery these four arteries lies in within the subarachnoid space and their branches anastomose they combine on the inferior surface of the brain to form circle of willis first we will discuss about the internal carotid artery Internal carotid artery begins at the bifurcation of the common carotid artery. This internal carotid artery possesses a localized dilatation that is known as carotid sinus. We will discuss some of the cerebral portion branches of the carotid artery. First branch is ophthalmic artery. Ophthalmic artery opening is optic canal and it supplies eyes and other orbital structures. The terminal branch of ophthalmic artery supply frontal area of scalp, ethmoid frontal sinuses and nose dorsum. The next branch is posterior communicating artery. It is basically a small vessel that originate from the internal carotid artery. It combines with the posterior cerebral artery and forms circle of willis. The third branch is choroidal artery. It is a small branch that originate from the internal carotid artery. It supplies various structures such as crest cerebri, lateral geniculate body, internal capsule and the optic tract. Now next two are the main branches of internal carotid artery that is anterior cerebral artery and middle cerebral artery. First we will discuss about the anterior cerebral artery. It is basically a small terminal branch of internal carotid artery. Anterior cerebral artery gives off cortical branches and its central branches. Cortical branches supplies entire medial surface of the cerebral cortex and the leg area of the placental gyrus whereas the central branches supplies lentiform and the corded nucleus and internal capsule okay now we will discuss the last and the largest branch of internal carotid artery that is middle cerebral artery the cortical portion of the middle cerebral artery supplies entire lateral surface of the hemisphere it supplies entire motor area except for that of the leg and the central branches supplies lentiform and corded nucleus and internal capsule please subscribe my channel like my video and also share it and also follow my instagram page that is medicine all in one thank you